Hello there, Minecrafters. This is Sunai6 uh, coming at you with another tutorial. And today, a Let's Play tutorial. And today, uh, I think it's time that we fortified ourselves here a little bit. We've got this funky thing going on, and it might continue to be useful. Uh, but the problem with it is that it's uh, not terribly secure and uh we need we need something better than this to get in and out with more quickly so one of the things that we want to avoid is for skeletons to be able to see in and and shoot us and stuff like that so uh what i'd like to do is something kind of like this here All right like that like that. Okay. And so that way we can kind of look around a little bit. We can kind of look around a little bit. And um, what we'll do, I'm going to show you how to make something. And we can make, see this here makes fences. And fences can kind of serve sometimes uh, as a, a window, sort of. Let's just show you what that does um but what we're really looking for is a gate which kind of goes with a fence whoops the reason why i'm doing that see because i could build a door and i'll show you a door just to show you i don't like doors in this game because zombies automatically find them and just start pounding on them and boy it is annoying so yeah i mean it's really loud <laughs> so we actually need two of those don't whoop oh no no we can we can make one let's see here Guess we need we need more of those. We need to get some wood here. So I'm gonna show you a trick to being able to do without a door, but I'll show you how to place a door just to show you. All right. So what does a fence look like? Well. And notice it connects up to the blocks that it's next to. Bonk. Like that. And you can kind of see through it. So if you put it in some place where you want to be able to see, but it's not important to see completely, you just want to have an idea of what stuff looks like. But you can't really attack something through it. It's like, it's not going to do us any good here if we want to be able to uh, 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 get stuff. Right? So we don't want to put them there. We don't really have too much of a use for it right now. Well, I guess we could, uh, we can, we can do this. Let's put them there. There. And that'll give us kind of a window we can look out of. Right? So, but here, what we want is something more like, these normally go with fences. They can connect up to them and stuff. But this, yeah. And it's a little bit complicated to open it. And just right clicking it, and it, it takes, I don't like it that it takes so much time to do both of them because we might be running for our lives to get inside and going, ah, 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 ah. And then, eh, eh, eh. But if we were to put a door there, and it was on the outside. Um, and that's what a door looks like. Just right-clicked on it, right? And it's uh, the block placement is on the ground, right? So, um, and that opens up. But zombies, zombies will just come for that. In fact, well, 
yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do for now. I'm I'm just I'm not gonna use the door. I don't like that. And they won't be able to get through that. But they could a, a skeleton could shoot through that. Right. So and one of the things that I thought about was the fact that although light prevents monsters from spawning in, and we kind of wanted monsters to spawn in because we wanted to get some uh, some string, we might use this to get some other stuff too. The thing is, is that we can have this lit up because the light doesn't go all that far. Right? You can look up on the wiki exactly how far it goes. It slowly loses luminescence as it goes outward. So, I think... Not like that. There. And that works for me. I think that they were spawning in... I think it's just far enough away at the end of the tunnel that they were spawning in occasionally. Oh, and there's this gap here. All right, so that should work pretty well. You know, if there's something at the door that we don't like, we can go down here and kind of lure it in and then just attack it. Okay, we need, we need some more arrows than what we've got. And it's, it's getting close to nighttime. So let's sleep. I did that by right-clicking on the bed. Okay, it's daytime now. See, we slept through the night. It's raining now, so it's a little bit dangerous out. Okay. Now, let's get all the gravel. All the gravel. Do we have all the gravel? I think it's just 14 pieces is all we've got. All right. Well, that'll have to do. Now, I wanted to show you the elevator trick. It's basically just a version of the of the pillar that I showed you how to do. We need to find a nice high place with a cliff. So I want to show you how you can get down. It's an easy way to get down. What? <laughs> okay. This here is not so bad. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna shift click and well, yeah, it'll work. For our purposes, this will work. Okay, I've got gravel, and I'm gonna place it there. And I, when I say I'm shifting, I'm just holding down the shift key so that I don't fall off this thing and take a little damage. All right, so you can do that like, like what I just did because they fall like down really, really deep as long as it's you have as many gravel blocks as you need to as it, as it is down as it is, as it is down. So now and then you just dig your way down like that. Only it's probably better to have a shovel. Okay, so in fact, let us go and make a shovel. And get some more gravel because from gra gravel we get flint. It doesn't drop uh, every time from gravel, but you'll you'll see that um, we'll probably need more than one shovel. You'll see that uh, every once in a while uh, it'll drop. All right. Need that door. We don't need those shears for right now either. All right. Um, probably gonna cut this part out, but basically I'm just gonna dig up some gravel right here. Okay, maybe I won't cut this part out. Okay, so that's flint. Boink. Flint. And flint is useful for making arrows, but we're also gonna need some feathers. So um, we're gonna be going out. And I'm gonna show you an easy. I'm gonna show you an easy method for getting flints out of this gravel 
getting all of it out of the gravel as much as you need to. And we're going to get some chicken feathers, but we're going to need to make more chickens before we do that. We don't want to waste all our chickens. I play somewhat conservatively. Somewhat. Fifty-nine. Let's just go to sixty-four. We got sixty-four. Okay. And how many flint do we have? We have ten, and that's actually quite a few. But we're gonna get like all the rest, all of them. And I'll probably end up doing part of that off camera. Uh. Boy, that's kind of a pain, isn't it? Although I love this lovely little stream here, I would prefer to be able to get across a little easier. There we go. Okay, so chickens. Here, chickens. When you beat up grass, you can get seeds. And you notice that these guys, they like to follow you around when you have seeds. Okay, and we already have a certain number of eggs that we've picked up every once in a while. One of these fellows, these young, these ladies actually, will drop an egg. And if you throw eggs and break them on the ground, about one in every eight will become a chicken. So, I know that there's more chickens around. Let's see if we can't make some chickens. They're kind of a pain. They make a lot of noise. But we need to keep them someplace. So here's the trick to doing that. What we're going to do is we're going to build a fence, basically. And the the typical way I was shown is to, whoops, is to just fence them in. I found that it doesn't work all that terribly well if all you're just using is a, a fence. So we, we've uh, shown you how to build some fences. Gonna need some more wood soon. So here, the way I'm striping that that way, let me show you that. I am left clicking and that will put them all down as many as can fit evenly into the space that I created by painting on there, right? So it's a lot easier. And I'm just going to go click, little 20 fences. Um, we're also, whoops, yeah, we're, we're going to need a ladder. Forgot about that. So the way that I like to do this is to kind of dig a pit. I don't know why I built those fences. I was just talking about why I don't want to use them. Ah, well. <laughs> Oh, and we need eggs. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're kind of a pain, these chickens. I don't like keeping them all that close to where I live. A little ways away, that is. Just far enough away so I don't have to hear them. So, let's see here. Hmm. You know what, I'm too far away. Where should we make our chicken pit? That looks like a good spot for a chicken pit. Right here. Doesn't have to be too big. Like that. All right. They have a tendency to get out from the fence when you just fence them in. Doing it this way, it just works a little bit easier, in my opinion. 
So we have these ladders that we made out of sticks, right? So do that, place them. We can climb up just by walking up to them and continuing forward. Okay, and we want to keep other stuff out. <laughs> so that's the reason why we still do kind of want to use the fence. Just as a means of filtering out various wanderers that may come in here and interfere with our chicken operations and plans. Is that where the ladder is? That's where the ladder is. I did not build a gateway. But that's okay. All right, so let's get out these eggs. There's about a 50% chance that four eggs will produce a chicken. Oh, no. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have to uh, try to wrangle us up some chickens. I might just end up doing that off camera. So that was our chicken pit. Uh, probably should put a gate on the chicken pit. I'll improve it next time. Okay, so that was uh, Flint and some initial exercises in the creation of the chicken pit. I'm sorry if that's not all that much for right now. I'm going to sign off. I, I might just come back to this later instead of leaving it into the next tutorial. I'll just do some stuff and then edit it out. So nice.